In this lecture, we want to talk about so-called custom instructions. This is a very new feature and with this we can set a specific context for all of our chats. Because we remember that the context in the chat is incredibly important. So for example, what we can do is we can create very specific personas. For example, act as a designer or act as a YouTube script writer or be like a marketing expert and this we can give in our prompts but this is always something that we have to insert in every new chat because when we open up a new chat this will lose this context and we know that this context is so important because otherwise the responses will be very generic therefore we should be as specific as possible when creating this context and this can be a little bit tedious when we have to do this over and over again for every new chat to set exactly this context. And this is exactly where the custom instructions come into play. Let's first see how we can enable them and then see how we exactly use them in the best way. So first of all, we go to these little three dots and then under settings and beta, we need to activate them. We can do this by going to beta features. And now this is a feature that is at the moment only available outside the EU and UK. And maybe it will also become available soon in the EU and UK. So as for now, this is just the case that it's only available outside the EU and UK. So in this case, I'm going to just check this to enable it. And now I can use this. So I can go now to these three dots and open up the custom instructions. And in here, I can now provide very specific information about how I would like ChatGPT to respond and act. So we can do this by answering those two questions. What would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? For example, some very simple instructions could be something about myself. I'm a researcher about biology. And then how would you like ChatGPT to respond? I'm writing lectures for my students. I want to use simple terms to break things down as simple as possible. So this is just some very basic example. And now we check this box enabled for new chats. And now if we click on save, we can start a new chat. And now if I say, what is the biggest animal on the planet? I will see right away that this uses these custom instructions. So here it says to put it in simple terms, imagine a creature and then so on so forth. So this has clearly used our custom instructions. Now, if we just change them to, for example, just Paris Hilton, for example, and here just write like Paris Hilton again, very simple, but just to demonstrate the difference, I will ask the same question in this same chat. And for this, I will now open a new chat and I will use the same question to get a different answer now with a completely different context. And so in here we see this sounds a bit more like Paris Hilton and now not really like a scientific teacher. So this is the effect of the custom instructions. But now the question is, how do we fill in these custom instructions in the best possible way? Of course, we can use something like expert marketing strategist. And here we can also add some specific information. Or we can also go to this GitHub page where we see some specific personas. So I can here search for personas. And in here I see some specific personas. For example, I can use uh, this one. I can just paste this in here and to make it simple, I will also just paste this in here, save it. And now I want to ask the same question. What is the biggest animal in the world? And now if I ask something that is a little bit more related to this persona, for example, how was the latest football match? Mm. For example, in here, we find this stand-up comedian. And then just to make it simple, I've pasted in both of these instructions in these boxes and I will now save it. And if I'm opening now a new chat and I will ask, what is the biggest animal on the planet? 
Then I get the answer in the style of a comedian. But now, how can we generate those personas and those custom instructions? Because this is something that we need to fill in into these custom instructions. And for this, we can use a prompt that is like a persona creator. So in here, I'm just using the prompt. You are a persona creator. You need to specify all the details of the persona that I'm going to give you and use categories like target audience, style, tone of voice, format, and so on. And do this by answering those two questions. And those are exactly those questions that we have also available in the custom instructions so that this is presented in exactly this way. And we can just copy and paste it into the custom instructions. And then I get the answer, this works. This is now in the style of Paris Hilton actually, because this is the default in the custom instructions. But now that I have said marketing expert, I get this return. So in here, I can now just go ahead and copy this into the custom instructions. So I'm just going again to the custom instructions. And now for question number one, I'm just going to paste in this first part. And afterwards for the question number two, I'm going to paste it into the second part. So question number two, I can remove. And this is now the custom instruction for our marketing expert. And this has been created automatically and is now acting as a marketing expert. So for example, if I'm now opening a new chat, I can ask now the question, what strategies do you recommend for writing a good blog post about data analysis? And the answer is now actually very different because now the model behind ChatGPT is not using the entire data that is available, the entire model that has been trained with vast amount of different data, which sounds usually a bit generic, but this is now very focused on being exactly this marketing expert. So now the knowledge and the way that this is presented is much more tailored to be really coming from a real expert. So this is very great. And now we could also write articles in this specific style from a specific type of persona. So these custom instructions, in my opinion, are incredibly great. And using this process of setting up a persona, pasting it into the custom instructions is incredibly powerful. So I hope this was helpful. Play around with this a little bit and hope to see you in the next lecture.